morning from Lisbon. We made it to Portugal and today is our first day out sightseeing and our first order of business had to be food of course. So today we're actually trying this and this is called pastéis de nata or pastéis de belém and it's basically an egg custard tart and it looks absolutely delicious. These actually originated over at the Geronimus Monastery, which is just over there, and it was a recipe created by the monks. So it looks like they were good bakers, guys. <laughs> Pretty tasty looking. We picked these up from the original store where they were first produced, and it was absolute chaos inside. And something that's really cool is that the first time we ever tried these was actually in Asia when we were in Macau, a former Portuguese settlement. Yes, and you can find these in Brazil, and Hong Kong, anywhere where the Portuguese went. Yeah, exactly. But now it's time to add this to right, our little tarts. So what we have here is we have a pack of cinnamon uh -huh. and icing sugar. Yes. And so that's going to give it an extra sweet kick. Let's sprinkle that on. before but never with icing sugar and cinnamon so I think it's going to be extra special. The winning combo. Mm -hmm. mm. That's nice. Wow. It's still warm, fresh out of the oven. Mm, it's really nice. Have a look. I really like this because sometimes when you have an egg tart it tastes like cooked egg, and that's just wrong. Dessert should not taste <laughs> like egg. But this is like a really nice, creamy custard, very sweet. It tastes like a proper dessert. I'm happy. So in terms of ingredients, it's made with egg yolks, milk, flour, and sugar. And it's time for my first bite here. It's a pretty simple recipe, but it's oh so good. Mm. just amazing so creamy and I love the crunchiness on the outside as well and you're absolutely right like this is as freshly baked as it gets so like I mentioned earlier this recipe originated in the Geronimus monastery and this is because apparently monasteries and convents used a lot of egg whites in order to starch their clothes don't ask me how this is done because I've never used egg whites to starch my clothes but apparently this meant they had a lot of egg yolks left over and that's how they started baking and created this wonderful recipe which was eventually sold to the pastry shop where we picked up our egg tarts. So we are having the original recipe that the monks came up with here. And price point. So in terms of price point, this is about as reasonable as it gets. It was only one euro and five cents. And if you want to pick one up, you can pretty much go to any bakery in Lisbon or anywhere else in Portugal. And they are addictive, so I yeah. think you may need to get more than one because we gobbled those up in a few <laughs> seconds. Probably could have had about four or five, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> It is lunchtime here in Portugal and today we took the ferry over from Lisbon to Casillas and this is a great place to eat seafood because we're right by the Tagus River and fresh seafood is available at every single restaurant. So we found a local little spot, Sam has ordered salmon and I've ordered halibut so we're waiting for that to arrive and then we're going to show you some Portuguese seafood. finally arrived so it's time to take a tour of the plate to have a look here this is my halibut cooked on the grill and we've got broccoli carrots and boiled potatoes with olive oil on top looks delicious and I'm ready to dig in mm. nice fresh halibut really juicy and it's so good with the lemon squirted on top and it's a really nice light dish and that's good because I've been snacking all morning so I kind of need a light lunch at this point but look at that it's nice and golden but still juicy in the inside mmm really good selection 
And I also really like that the food here in Portugal, whenever you order fish, it usually comes with boiled potatoes and lots of veggies on the side. So I feel like I'm being healthy. And the flavors are just enhanced when you pour olive oil over top. It's just such a simple recipe, but it's so good. Mm -hmm. You seem to have a monster meal right in front of you. Tell us, what did you get? Yeah, I got the salmon steak, and if you take a look down here, you Whoa. notice it is a very thick cut. Um, and I've been having this almost every day since I've arrived in Lisbon, so this is my favorite thing to eat in Portugal for sure. I know, it's so good that we can get sick of it. And look at the size oh. of that steak. Like, it almost it's takes massive. up the whole yeah. plate. So the only difference between our two plates is that you had steamed or boiled vegetables mm -hmm. and I have like a little garden salad over here. Ooh, so good. that's nice and healthy. So that has onions, carrots, a little bit of cabbage, lettuce but and tomatoes. This is the reason we came here. We took the ferry across the river. For fresh fish. Fresh fish. This is my first bite here. Oh, let's see it. Well, was it worth the ferry ride over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Glad to hear it. So these are two staple items that you'll find at every Portuguese table. Yeah, you're going to find white wine vinegar, mm -hmm. and you're also going to find olive oil. Mm -hmm. And that's also what the fish is cooked with. And then it's garnished with a bit of salt, so really simple ingredients, but really delicious taste. Well, I would say this is a sign of a spectacular meal. Nothing left. We polished Nothing. that off. We polished that off completely. Well, we couldn't leave the restaurant without having dessert because we just love our sweets so much. So I got something called Bolo Brigadeiro, and it is a chocolate cake with chocolate sprinkles, and it looks oh so decadent. Mm. Oh yeah. It's like it's a nice and a fluffy cake, but it's also a little moist. I don't know what they've put in it, but it's really nice. Not sharing. Go away. Little Miss Greedy guts over here. And so as not to be left out, I got something as well. Check it out down here. Fancy. This is a fancy coconut ice cream. Is that a real coconut or is it like plastic? Yeah. It feels let's see. Like Sounds like a coconut. Some coconut ice cream. Let's see if it tastes like one. Is that chocolate in the middle? Could be. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's so rich. <laughs> that's such rich, rich coconut ice cream. I love it. Well, I have to admit it was a bit of a pricey meal. It came to about 34 euros, but I think we went a little bit overboard with the wine and the coffee and the dessert and I don't know what else we got. So yeah, if you just got a main and a beverage, it would come to about 20, 25 euros. So something to keep in mind. And another way you could shave down the price a little bit more is for someone to order a main, like fish main, and then the other person to order a small soup and a small salad because those are about a third of the price of an actual fish dish. today's lunch video we're eating one item alone we are trying bacalao which is dry salted cod and this is a fish that is very popular here in Portugal now the cod used to be salted because that's the method of preservation that they used before refrigerators were widely available so that meant the fish became like really hard and salted and then once you actually wanted to cook it you had to soak it in water um, just to remove a bit of the salt and also soften it again and that's a food tradition that has been passed down. So today we are trying three different items if you want to have a look here. All prepared with bacalao. We've only got three things to taste here but apparently there's a saying that you can make bacalao 365 days a year using a different recipe or a different technique. So since I'm being a gentleman over here I'll let you choose the first of the three to try. Well, I'm gonna choose bolinhos de bacalao, and we actually have two of those, so no problem. <laughs> we need to get one. So this is actually a little cake made with codfish. It's a savory cake, not a sweet cake. Um, and it's made with mashed potatoes, fish, 
um, parsley and egg and it is deep fried let me show you the inside so you can really see the the fiber of the fish in there yeah, you can. and it's been rolled into a little ball so it looks good mm. that's a monster bite you took I'm hungry that's quite nice so these little fish cakes can actually be served as an appetizer before a big meal but because we've been kind of overdoing it with the big restaurant meals today we're having something smaller so it's just gonna be a little bit of a snack but I think filling enough all right I'm also quite hungry as well I went for a really long jog this morning and I had a tiny breakfast so I'm ready for my big bite have you ever had a fish pastry before yeah I have I'm just trying to remember where it was I honestly can't remember and the new thing about this is uh, of course you taste the fish but it's not overpowering it's definitely like a pastry as well too so next up we're trying this and this is a Portuguese empanada and it's quite different from the ones I've had in Argentina which are usually half moon shaped this is more like a little miniature pie and apparently it is stuffed once again with codfish so Never had a codfish empanada before. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty unique. What it's like. What does it look like inside? Have a look on there. Hmm. I think there's more than fish in there, to be honest. Perhaps potatoes? Hmm. So that looks like, looks like and tastes like codfish, potatoes, and maybe even a little bit of spinach. It's really nice. And last but not least... Oh, something had to be picked last, so <laughs> let's try this one. So this is something that we just saw on the counter and we're like, hey, that's cod, let's try it. Mmm. This is my favorite one. Yeah. You know what this one tastes like? What? It tastes like codfish Korean jun. It's like the Korean pancakes. It's really crispy and really tasty. This is awesome. You're gonna like this one. So is that battered fish or is it breaded? No, it's battered. Or is it just fried? It's battered and fried and crispy on the outside. All right, so now it's time for a price point for those little snacks made out of bacalao. Yeah, we picked up those four tasty little treats for six euros total. And what was wonderful is that we just took them to this nice little park, which is a two minute walk from our Airbnb and enjoyed eating them in the shade.